Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're here with the first trailer for DC's Creature Commandos. This is the first project in the new DCU of James Gunn's and Peter Safran's universe. Today, James Gunn released the first look at the new DC Studios logo right here, which I think looks pretty cool. Has that retro uh, look to it. So this is the first project in the new DC universe called the DCU. Gunn said is uh, basically in the new DC universe, you're going to have animation, go to live action and live action go to animation so most likely we're gonna see probably this entire show one day move into a live action that's why they uh, got a lot of actors that can play on screen and voice off screen as well uh, with of course we have Rick Flagg senior who will be seen in the show the uh, Peacemaker season 2 and also he's gonna be in Superman movie uh, saw some shots a couple weeks ago of uh, Rick Flagg senior in Superman as well so I'm excited to see the the in and out of animation and live action, stuff like that. The only thing I know about Creature Commandos, I don't know anything about the comic or the characters itself. It's just I kind of knew what the cast was when he released it uh, like 18 months ago, whatever it was. So that's all I know. So let's get into this thing. There's the logo. It's a Max, Max original. James Gunn. Like these people, I don't know. I don't know any of these. The Bride. I do remember Weasel from uh, the Suicide Squad. Frankenstein. Creature Commandos. So, really quick trailer there. Uh, first, I like the uh, animation style. Looks good. I assume they're going to keep this animation style for the whole DCU stuff, like shows and stuff they do. I know that Blue Beetle, by the way, is also getting picked up for a animated series or animated movie, something like that. So, we'll be seeing more of that. I assume we'll have the same look. Um, now... There's a couple, couple questions that we all have, right? Because, you know, Gunn said everything that happened in the DCEU, like Man of Steel and all that, all done. Nothing happened. Suicide Squad, all that. Nothing happened. Peacemaker Season 1. All that happened. Now, I get it. Viola Davis is awesome, you know? So, you really can't have a better Amanda Waller than her. But, where is this going to connect? Because you have... This that happened in Suicide Squad that happened with... Um, Peacemaker and and Rick Flag, you know, with him, uh, Peacemaker killing Rick Flag, and then now we're gonna see his father, uh, potentially, or not potentially, but he's gonna be in season two of Peacemaker, and they're gonna have that beef, but that didn't happen because Gunn said that everything basically that we know of hasn't happened yet, right? And he even said, I think, like in uh, Peacemaker season one, they're going to kind of keep that storyline, but also change a little bit of it. So it kind of fits into the new uh, DC universe. I thought the show was going to be um, like in a different time period as well. I thought it was going to be like the 40s, 50s-ish. Because um, that's when I was looking at some comics and stuff like that. like Some pictures and stuff and reading up on it. It looked like they were set in the 40s and all that created back then. So I thought that's what we're going to do. So it kind of like, okay, it makes sense that we're going back. And then Superman is kind of our first... Um, official like DCU project in the in the current time timeline, but uh, it looks like this thing is this current day as well up there. So we'll see how many episodes it's gonna be. I assume it'll be around eight to ten, uh, probably a weekly release. Um, they do a weekly release for the Harley Quinn show because I haven't really been caught up on it, but I know that. Or do they just release it all at once for animation? I know Invincible on Amazon does a week by week release. I assume this would do the same thing. Um, yeah, 
cast is good. They have a lot of good actors. Like I said, we're going to see a lot of these people um, in other projects around, uh, you know, in the future. And like I said, Rick Flag Sr., he's going to be showing up in the th first three projects of this uh, new universe. So that's on Creature Commanders. Are you excited for it? Are you interested in this new series, this new, for me, a new uh, group of characters? And Gun is so good about getting these, like, uh, you know, CD list characters and then making them into B A characters like he did with Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'm excited to see that. All right. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, click the like button and subscribe to Dave Ham already. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.